Kentucky. This is his fourth visit to the Senshi ring. His last three outings, he's won one and lost two. Uh, but in his last outing, he won by knockout in the first round. So, as the guys get heavier, the chances of a knockout are increased. And what does everyone like to see? A knockout. Yes. They keep showing these motorbikes, Jan, and I'm a motorbike enthusiast. I'm going to have to take one of those home. They can't do this to me. So here we go. First round of our under 85 kilogram contest. K1 legend Andy Sauer refereeing. Whoop, nice left counter there. Nice low kick. So Boban Ilioski from North Macedonia with the blue gloves and white shorts. Ali El Ameri from Morocco in the orange and brown shorts with the red gloves. That left counter is already looking a dangerous weapon from Boban Ilioski. Stalking his opponent, coming forwards. Nice flashy kick there, but uh, way off distance. Just off balance there. So both guys, early on in this first round, they're just trying to find their range, time their opponent. But you haven't got long, it's only three rounds. Yes, three rounds, three minutes. Here we go. So we like to see action from the opening bell. Oh, some stiff punches there from both guys. <laughs> stiff front kick from both fighters. Oh, yeah. He dropped him. Left hand oh. from Ilioski has dropped Ameri. Nice hook. He's all over the show. Andy Sauer taking a good look, giving him a standing count. He's going to get him to walk forwards. He's still up Queer Street, I'll tell you that. And Boban Ilioski wants to capitalize, but Ali Ameri putting him off his pace. He's dropped him again. That was a left hand that did it again. He's going to have to take another count. Now he's, he needs to go to a neutral corner, does Boban Ilioski. And Andy Sauer there, he's let the action go ahead, but that's the end of the first round. Two knockdowns, so that would make it a 10-7 round. Yes. So a 10-7 round in the first round, that means, in theory, without any knockdowns, Ali El Amiri has got to knock out Boban Ilioski to win the fight. Yeah. Unless he can get some knockdowns of his own um, I'm just really saying how I'd like the fight to go you yeah, know let do it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a I mean that wasn't the cleanest of shots and now, oh, uh, well okay uh, left hook. well it was a left hook uh, a yes. right hook hand and then another left hook so that was a combination of three punches that did the damage and again Similar thing. Three punches there. And Ali El Ameri was all over the shop. 
but he's had a minute now to recover. His corner should have given him a pep talk and told him to change up a gear. Tighten up your defence, man, and throw some leather. But he's being pushed back into the corner hit. Yep. He got out of that corner. I thought he was going to get tied up and punished. Oop, there's oh. those combinations again. Bob and Ilioski must be overflowing with confidence after those two knockdowns. Oh, that was a, that, if that right hand had landed, then we could have been doing all sorts of problems. Ali El Amiri changing stances, trying to put Ilioski off his um, off his momentum. Well, he's certainly not out of the fight by any means, but Ilioski is very dangerous. With oh, the, yeah. There we come, oh, yeah. Ilio oh. Amiri is coming yes. back himself. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well. I'll change the game. That wasn't a knockdown. He was off balance. But certainly, oh, and yeah, there yeah, is yeah. a left, right hand oh, and yeah. a knee. Well, the pendulum swings. So now, El Amiri. His confidence is growing. Blood coming from somewhere. Andy Sauer just getting the doctor to come in and have a look at that cut. Um, the corner of the right eye of Boban Ilioski. It's not a fight ending cut, but safety is a primary concern here. Not just checking the cut, you're checking the eye, the sight. Oh, the fight is so over. The doctor's oh. called it off. Well, the cut man has called it off. I need to see this. Come on, cameraman, give us a close up of this cut. What a turnaround. That was a nice boom. Ah, knee. So. Well, just wondering, was that the kick that opened the cut up? Yeah. Well, that is absolutely fascinating. So after the first round and two knockdowns, Boban Ilioski was ahead 10-7 on the scorecards. The second round, Ali El Amiri comes out and finishes the fight with a cut, declaring him. Well, that is a big cut, yes. Yes. It didn't look that bad. And El Amiri wins by TKO. Now, if that cut had been below the eye, maybe the fight would have carried on. Being above the eye, that blood is going to go in and affect his vision, and it's a double safety concern. So. The right call there, Andy Sauer was right on the ball. Got the doctor, got the cut man in to have a look at it. But I, I tell you, um, Boban Ilioski is going to be very disappointed. Yes. Well, that just shows you that anything can happen inside the Senshi ring. If you put money on that fight at the end of the first round, you couldn't have predicted that outcome. So. Ladies and gentlemen, please give your applause for these exciting fighters. Well, 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 well. Thank you. And then we've got a great view of the setup here at Senchi in Varna. Bulgaria. Thank you guys. Thank you. It was a great fight.